Hello, nice Hiya. to see you again, Brian. Um, this poll of 3,000 parents suggested science careers are only an option for the brightest students. At least that's what the parents think. Well, yeah, I think it's, it's a, it's a, a barrier, problem. Isn't it? Yeah, for parents and children, I think. It's this, this image of the scientist as the, you know, the white-haired old man, this genius, mm -hmm. has, it has several problems. One is that um, children and parents think you have to be a genius to do it, and that's science and engineering. The other thing, I think, is that it's very discouraging, particularly for girls, but also for boys, to think that this, these are careers that are dominated by old men, and, and they're not. But I think that's one of the big barriers we've got to break down. Yeah. But a lot of people have the perception that you are either you're sort of almost born to be good at science or you're not. I mean, yeah. I've never felt that I was ever, ever going to be good at good do, science. Do, do you know, when I, I got a D at maths A level, right? And everyone thinks, so this is a, an example of that you don't have to be a genius to be a scientist. You did do the maths A level. I did maths A level. I did, oh, very good. And the thing is that I, I found, I learned later at university that actually you've got to do a bit of practice. And it's, I think it's like playing the piano, which I also do. You, know, you don't sit there at a piano and say, I can't do that. You know, and I think my view is it's the same with science and engineering and mathematics. A yes. bit of practice. Anybody can learn. Great rewards. Absolutely. So though, for those who are intimidated or feel intimidated by science and think oh, it's too late for me to learn, mm. what would you say? Where would you start? Oh, I mean, to me, the, the, these the biggest questions you can ask are scientific questions. You know, when when I go to schools, it's, it, is there life on other planets? How did the universe begin? Mm. How will the world end? All these questions. What can we do? New materials to build better planes. The, all those things are, are scientific questions. So I think it's uh, people are genuinely interested. See, that you sounds, just have to have enthusiasm. That sounds exciting. And, uh, here's a man who he, he knows the difference between atoms and molecules, don't you, Brian? He was struggling a little okay. bit earlier. What's the difference? Oh, oh uh, molecules are atoms joined together. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> Got it. It'd be molecules quite useful to have Brian here together. most days, actually, <laughs> wouldn't it?